What's up guys, this is Emmanuel from Team DBZ Biscuit and today we're coming at you with a Odd Eyes deck profile. But before we jump into this deck profile, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also too, if you like the video, be sure to gallop gun that like button. But let's jump into this deck profile. Let's see what we're coming at you with. To start things off, we're running three of our Odd Eyes Art Pendulum Dragon. Odd Eyes Art Pendulum Dragon is the best Odd Eyes there is. I mean, he is the central focus for the deck. You're going to want to get him in your pen scale as fast as possible. Once you get him in there, when one of your Odd Eyes gets destroyed, start special summoning for days. Also running one of the OG Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon and one Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon. These two are our beaters for the deck. We want to be able to get burn damage in on our opponent, just be able to get as much you know, life point damage so we can get that OTK as fast as possible. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, just making sure that we can get that double damage. Phantom, if we got Odd Eyes in the uh, pin scales, we're just going to make sure we get that extra 1200 damage. That's very useful to us. We're also running two Odd Eyes Persona Dragon. Odd Eyes Persona Dragon, it's not really the effect negated that we wanted it to be but it really is good for this archetype being able to negate an extra deck monster effect is very very useful especially once since we're going into a new master rule fairly soon and being a low skill helps out a lot also running the one mascot for the deck odd eyes mirage dragon this card is needed it's going to be a searchable normal summon for you all the odd eyes are very very high scale so this is going to help you to be able to get the normal summon you need and get the plays going the way you want to. Also running one Odd Eyes Performer Pile Dissolver. Dissolver is going to help us to make sure we get to that Odd Eyes Vortex properly fusion summon the way we want to and that's just going to help us get the plays the way we want to. Also running three Chronograph Sorcerer and the one Time Gazer. This is just to make sure that we can get special summons to the field as fast as possible. Time Gazer is going to be able to protect our skills when he's a monster in the monster zone. And also Chronograph Sorcerer, whenever a card is popped on the field, you'll be able to special summon it and another monster, and that can help you extend your board plays. We're also running three of the Supreme King Dark Worm and two Gate Zero, our donut. We need to be able to get these dragons to the graveyard or on the field as fast as possible. That's going to help us to get the plays going the way we want to. And our gate zero is just going to make sure that we're able to pop cards, set it back up in the pin scale, and you know just get the plays going the way we want to. And lastly for the monsters, running one Galactic Spiral Dragon and one Destrudo the Lost Dragon of Fisher. These two really help the deck to be able to help to extend plays. Uh, the Galactic Spiral, as long as you got two dragons that are going to be darks on the field, we got that. Special summon this card. During that turn, you're able to change all your monsters to level 8. Then overlay into a level 8, so that uh, rank 8, so that's very useful to you. And you got Destrudo being able to special summon it and go into your tuner plays. That's just helpful all around for the deck. And that's it for the monsters. For the spell cards, running the one Odd Eyes Fusion. This is our backup play. We're going second. If our opponent gets a little hairy on us, we still have a backup plan to be able to get Monster on the field, get our Vortex properly fusion summon, you know, really catch them off guard. We're also wanting to search through that deck as fast as possible. So we got the Allure Darkness. We want to be able to get those dark monsters that are in the deck into our hands so we can throw them onto the field. And this is going to help us get that resource to do that. Also running one into the void and one upstart goblin. This is very helpful to making sure we just get that extra one card draw. And I'm also running one pendulum halt because pendulum halt, even though it's not, you know, the draw card that we want, I don't want to start banishing out a whole bunch of cards and I don't really want to use sacred sword seven stars. So this is just an alternative I'm using for right now, just to be able to see if I can get some extra advantage out of it. And it's also searchable. We're also running three of the best searcher in the game, Spiral Flame Strike. This card is just amazing to me that Odd Eyes has this to be able to make sure that we can search out any of our level seven Odd Eyes. Also too, being able to pop back row is just an all around amazing thing and just helps us to get out of problematic situations. 
also running two summoner's arcs. Summoner's arcs helping us to get to that arc pendulum as fast as possible. Our Akuma for the deck, we won't be able to get it, you know, in our hand as fast as possible. The second we get it into our hand and we have ways to pop other odd eyes, we got our plays rocking. I'm also running one Duelist Alliance. I'm only running one because you only got three arc pendulums. You got the original odd eyes that you can search for, and you also have a pendulum halt that you can search for. Other than that, you don't really have that much. If you see the card, it's a good card. Usually you're gonna be able to get all your other odd eyes for the way you want to. This is really gonna probably search out pendulum halt, but just running one, this is really all you need. I'm also running a set rotation, a terraforming, three sky iris, and two dragon ravine. I like this little package a lot. It's really helping me out with a lot of my plays. Uh, set rotation, usually when I get it in hand, I'm not playing it on my turn anymore. What I usually do is I usually set this card or hold it in my hand until the end of the battle phase to see if my opponent tries to even with me. And if they do, if I have my board set up, I want to be able to protect my Arc Pendulum and my Vortex Dragon. If they even with me, I play this card, I protect those two because they're going to have a field spell set on their side of the field then. And then that way I can end up keeping those two cards and letting everything else blow out the way. So that's the reason why I have the ratio for the two Dragon Ravine. That way I can use one on my turn or push come to show, flip it on my opponent's turn. Also running the one Dragon Shrine and the one Foolish Burial. This is very useful for making sure that we can get those Dark Worms into the graveyard or either of our other dragons that we want to put into the graveyard to help extend our plays. And lastly, for the spell cards, a lot of you guys might think I'm crazy for this, but I'm running two Mystical Space Typhoon. This can be switched out depending on what you want to play, Twin Twister or Cosmic Cyclone. But I'm having a lot of issues, especially with Shadal's coming back. People are starting to slip in Anti-Spell Fragrance. They're starting to slip in a lot of uh, Imperial Iron Wall things, like not Imperial Iron Wall, the uh, one that's you pay 700. That card is, you know, I don't want that to be flipped on me in my standby phase. Being able to have this card in your hand, chain it to it as soon as it comes out. That way you can go ahead and make the plays you want to. It's very useful. Just making sure that you have something. You don't want to just be able to have to scoop because of a, a problematic card. And, you know, you can sit there and just say, okay, it's time for game two. I wanted to have it out for that just in case that did happen. But that's it for the main deck. For the extra deck, running two Odd-Eyes Vortex Dragon. Odd-Eyes Vortex Dragon is the main boss monster for this deck. You want to get it on the field, properly fusion summon as fast as possible. Sometimes you have to go around other ways to fusion summon it, just get it out onto the field. But the second you get one out properly fusion summon, you got your grind game on locked in. I'm also running one Borlo Savage Dragon. One at Nixter Providence, one Odd Eyes Meteor Burst, and one F.A. Dawn Draxter. Uh, this lineup is something that I've been really experimenting with and wanting to play around with a lot. We got Borlo Savage Dragon. You just want to make sure you get that Omni Negate on board. You want to be able to make sure you can stop your opponent. And this card is going to be very good coming in up in April. Ignister is another way for us to get another pop for our Pendulum Monsters and help to be able to get Arc Pendulum Effect activated even more. Also, too, getting that non-targeting removal is very, very helpful to us. Odd Eyes Meteor Burst, making sure that we can just make sure we can get extra special summons from the deck. And F.A. Dawn Dragster, we want to make sure we can negate those spell cards and also be able to play around Super Poly because we don't want to put up a bunch of dark monsters and get Super Poly. Also running one, number 38, Hope Harbinger Dragon, Titanic Galaxy. One Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon, one Number 11 Big Eye, and one Abyss Dweller. Being able to go into a rank 8, making sure that we can bring out a monster that can negate spell cards, also to being able to redirect attacks is very useful. Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon is just all around good, helping us to protect all of our monsters. Also to being able to float a Odd Eyes out of the extra deck is very useful also. Number 11 big eyes, just all around good for snatch stealing your opponent's cards. And Abyss Dweller is a card that's just gonna always be good for making sure we can hate on those graveyard effects. For our link monsters, 
We're running Steel the IP Mascarena and the uh, Heratic Seal. These two are two very good Link monsters right now. Um, when Needle Fiber comes out, I might switch out just because that can really facilitate a lot of plays and help make a lot of different crazy boards. But IP, making sure that you can tag out during your opponent's turn, depending on what plays they want to make, can be very helpful to you. And Heratic's Field Series is just making sure that you can get that tribute, an extra monster on board. And if they do decide to kaiju, I mean, you're still going to be safe. And that's something I like a lot about this card. Just You're still going to have a monster to be able to defend yourself. Running one, Blackluster Soldiers, Soldier of Chaos. This is just to make sure we have another big beater that we can put some extra protection on. And if push comes to get that double attack action or banish action. And lastly, for the extra deck, we're running one Appaloosa Bow of the Goddess and one Borlo Dragon. You can switch this out to whichever one you want Borlo, Bor Sword, whichever one you want. But to me, I like Borlo just being a snatch and just. Appaloosa is just all around good for making sure that we can get those extra negates on monster effects that we need. But that's it for the deck profile guys. Leave a comment in the comment section below let us know what you think. Also to be sure to hit the description box up below. If you want to hit up the TCG player if you've seen any cards that you like, be sure to check that out. Thanks guys for all your love and support. We're out.